Test, test. Let me know if you can hear me. I'm going to try to talk out um, using the Erica Sense Black Sequencer as my main sequencer. Going to go through some uh, simple song setups that you can do and then showing how you can add some variation. So if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, so the Erica Sense uh, Black Sequencer, you have four CV outputs, uh, which are these cables, got light blue, we got light pink, light blue, light pink. You also have four gates, and I don't use them as much as I should. You also have four mod outputs. These can be, let's see if I can show this. So you can have either uh, CV, uh, they call it CV data, CV slide, C CV note, so more pitch CV. You can have decay envelope, ASR envelope, ADSR envelope, LFO, stepped LFO, or trigger, so more gate outputs. Um, if I do use them, I'll probably I probably try to do a LFO that's synced to the tempo, but for this I'm not using them. I'm also going to be trying to watching the chat on YouTube and Twitch, so I might be a little slow trying to read both. Okay, the black sequencer, um, you can have patterns, and right now you'll, you might see that there's a red dot on most of these, that means I have a pattern already created. Um, what patterns is, is basically just w one combination of whatever your, your pitch sequence is. So we're going to go into pattern one. Right now it says currently on pattern one. And here you have control for your four voices. You have channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. For my four voices, I'm kind of going up. Uh, you can't see it right now, but I've got the Loquilic Iteritas, the Clavis Twin Waves, Make Noise STO, and the WMD Legion. Those are my four main oscillators. The gates are going to my nano quart um, envelope. So that's a quad envelope generator. And what I'm, what I usually do to start is um, a couple of things that you can do with a black sequencer. Right now, I went into the uh, the quantize menu option. Uh, I have it on chromatic, and I'll explain why in a second but you can choose between some of their pre-built quantized options. So there's, you know, major scale, minor, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, major blues, minor blues. Uh, and then there's some custom ones that I've added, um, which is really nice because, or you can do none, uh, because you can customize your own scales uh, and then save that. One thing you do have to do is that this is a setting per channel. 
Um, so you, whatever you decide on, you'll want to go to each channel and also save that, uh, choose that option. Um, sometimes I forget and then, you know, things will be off if I'm using the quantizer. Uh, in this example, I just have it on chromatic because I want to also choose some uh, accidentals, which you can't always do with, uh, you know, their defined scales. Okay, then we're going to go to set the CV and we're in channel one. You have on one page 16 steps. And you'll know that it, it's on uh, two different ways. The easiest is if the light is active. So right now we just have the first one, which means we're going to get a note on the first step. And that's it. You can also uh, expand this from 16 steps. Uh, you can go uh, four pages, so 64 steps. When I'm starting, I'll usually just do 16 to get something basic. Once I like that, then I'll um, change it to 64 steps and then you'll have four pages uh, of notes. And one thing I was talking about on the EMS Discord was a quick and easy way of coming up with, with songs by using the, the pattern function. So that's what I'm going to kind of show here. On channel one, I have uh, this value set to C0, uh, and that's going to my Loquilic, which we can hear. Uh, let's go ahead and play that. So it's running for 64 steps. When it gets to the beginning, it'll trigger it again. Um, and that's the Loquilic, which is going into the WMD Orion, and then the Tercy Ruina, which is why it's doing some fun little modulation uh, and then I also have a sloth uh, LFO going into the Orion but all right we got C so channel 2 I have a C1 uh, and that's going to my Clavis twin waves Let me know if the audio balance needs to be fixed. Channel 3, I have a G0. Channel 3 is going to the STO. And then channel four, we have E. So for those of you following along, C, E, G gives us C major chord. Okay, so once I have that set, I'll hit save. This is one thing I had to like ingrain into myself 
working with a black sequencer, sometimes I would come up with something I really liked and I would forget to save. Then I'd go to a new pattern and lose everything. So I'm in the habit of saving often. But we got something a little boring. So um, on the black sequencer, we'll go back to our pattern. And the next feature I use a lot is the copy and paste. So what I like doing is I'll, I'll copy my first pattern and then I'll paste that into the second pattern. And that will actually copy every setting that you had. So again, it's really important to set your, your scale that you plan on using. Um, so then we'll go to the next pattern and we'll switch right now. And I've already done this, but as you can hear, it's a different chord. But let's go through that. So on this one, I've got C uh, on my lowest note. Then I've got B, then G, and E. So really, I only made one minor change, which was my high C. I dropped that down half step to a B for a seventh. And that's why I'm using the chromatic option. If you're using the, the their built-in scales, um, B wouldn't be an option. And now let me just switch back and forth between the two. see going down uh, it might be a little hard to see but along the bottom there's a white bar that moves along and this is a good visual representation of how long that pattern has to go so I can hit the next pattern before that's up and at the end of that pattern it'll switch to the new pattern So now let's go to a, a third pattern, and again, copy and paste from one pattern to the next. And I make minor changes. So that's kind of my little trick on how to um, use the black sequencer to quickly uh, build something and then copy a pattern make a small minor change to your notes and you can use that to um, you know help your, your your building blocks of a song um, let's see what else I recorded in here drums okay so the Erica sense also has uh, a clock out and I'm using a reset out that's going to the Metron so on the Metron I've programmed in my drum triggers and let's just bring those in
this one I've been clutching all the way. Let's see. I think that works. Okay, so for my my low C on this next pattern, all I did is on the second page, I added a C sharp and then back to C real quick. So instead of getting just that consistent C, now halfway three we we get a slight change. So I'm just going to mute all of that. And then I'll shorten my envelopes on that one. So on two of the voices, I decided to just keep the the first note triggering. But on this third one, I added some movement. So now we've got notes triggering on uh, beats one and three. So you'll see here, one, three. And then we get this. And what I had to do is on the envelopes is go from a, a really long envelope. Um, on the court, I actually had it as long as possible for the first sections that we were doing. Um, and what I like about this is that there's a little switch that you can flip. Uh, to go from like medium length to short or long so I can just make that flip if you're trying to perform this though you want to do something a little creative um, t to go between the two so what you could do is maybe uh, instead of going from let me save this and kind of show you so instead of going from one pattern to the other one since you have to do manual changes on the envelope you can mute your voices and then do something creative on the drums. So let's try that and see if I can make it work without practicing. So we're going to go from this pattern right here back to this one.
so that wasn't terrible. But what I did is I used the mute function on the sequencer. Um, let me go back to that previous pattern. So while we were here, I muted all the voices. And then on the Metron, I have this pattern. That's actually, that's the Zularic Repetitor going into the WMD Kraken. And that gives me those polyrhythms. So I'll bring that up. up. And use that as a filler while I'm also then going back to my envelopes, uh, bringing those down and getting them ready for the longer part that's coming up when you switch the pattern i'll do that right now it actually keeps the mute on which i find really handy so that gives me plenty of time to set things up get everything ready um, do a, you know the, my fills with the metron and then when i'm ready i just go back to the mute and then I can bring some of these in together. Then another thing that I like to do is uh, let you find a pattern that you like. I'll go back to my copy and paste function. So pattern that's on channel three. I like that, but I want to try it on a different voice. So on the black sequencer, you can hold copy and then the start and the end of the range that you want to paste. Then switch over to the channel that you want that to. Hold paste and just press the beginning of where you want it. And it'll copy that entire page. Then here you go across the bottom, across to page one, two, three, four, you can paste the same thing. So then, now what you have is some variety with that pattern. But on a different voice.
then the last thing is uh, the Metroid. Let me mute the voices. Metron is really great. Uh, you've got some fill effects, which I'm just going to mash buttons right now. So really useful for adding some variations, um, but it can get tricky. you got to time it right. If you do it, it's going to sound off. So what I like doing is using their variation section. So for each pattern that I make, I can have um, five different variations. Um, usually what I'll do is I'll have one that's got the kick um, on beats one and three, and then I've got the next one, which is just a uh, four to the floor. So just mute individual so I can mute my kick. So that's about it. If you have any questions, throw it in the chat. If not, I'm just going to have some fun for a bit.